Hi everyone, Amy Love here, and I am coming on today to share with you this little canvas I created for a swap that I hosted in my Facebook group. And I'll put a link to my Facebook group below if you'd like to come over and play. We have a good time in there. And this swap was for a 5x7 shabby chic canvas. So this is what I created for my partner. And I hope that she loves it. So by the time you're seeing this, she should have it in her hands. Um, I just used a little stretch canvas board that I probably got at Walmart or Hobby Lobby. I never remember. But they're very inexpensive and you can get them at either place. I covered it with this um, fabric lace that I had in my stash for a long time. So I just covered the entire canvas with that. And then um, I used one of these images from Pixie Dust Files. And I will put a link to Pixie Dust Files below too. So I'm loving her digitals right now. And you, if you saw a couple videos back, I had a whole stack of these little images that I distressed and sewn and I made a whole pile of them. So I'm kind of working my way through the pile. <laughs> so I chose this image for this one. I just think it's precious. It's just precious. So I decided to make like a gown. So um, just to give it some fluff, I gathered up the lace I covered the canvas with. I gathered some of it up to be the bottom layer so it would have some fluffiness. And then I added this beautiful vintage piece that my friend Kim shared with me in our um, shabby clutch swap. Thank you so much, Kim. I actually cut it in half and I'm saving the other half for something special. I love it, I love it so much. And then I put this vintage piece over the top that I don't remember where I got it. I, I may have purchased that at the antique store. I'm not sure, I don't remember, but I thought it would just look lovely. And it does, isn't it just so pretty? I love, I love how that turned out. So then I decided to uh, pop on a couple bows and somebody gifted these to me. Thank you so much, I love them. And then I just added uh, streamers of beautiful, delicate laces coming out of the bows on each side, which I love. And then I added some rhinestone cup chain just across the top there. And then I framed the image with this beautiful bridal applique. And then I had um, this bling in my stash. It actually was my granny's. And I decided I would use it on the top of this crown. Isn't it pretty? And then um, I added this pretty piece of bling to the top. So that's my canvas. And I hope my friend loves it. These swaps are so much fun. But I decided I wanted to make a gift bag uh, for this uh, canvas. So this will fit right in there, just like that. And I created this bag out of just some cotton that I had laying around. And I used my sewing machine to sew it together. And then I covered the cotton with this lace. It was a really, really wide lace. So it wrapped all the way around and it actually, um, well, I covered it up, but these scallops are the top or the bottom of it. So that lace goes from here all the way around and up. So it's a very, very wide, wide lace. So I covered the base with that. And then I had this um, like tool fringe. I've had it, I feel like for a while now in, um, in my lace drawer and I was like, I wanna use it, I wanna use it, it's so fun. So I decided this would be the project for it. And then this beautiful lace right here that has, it's the scalloped, eyelet with this beautiful trim attached to it. It's just gorgeous. It was gifted to me by my friend Julie Kay. Julie, thank you so much for sharing. I love it. I've been hoarding it in my um, hoard vault and I decided I would go ahead and use it um, so somebody else could just enjoy how beautiful it is and plus I just wanted to play with it. So I put that across right here and I also added it to the top. And then I put another piece of it here. Uh, so when you open it up, it's on the top there. 
And I layered these two really pretty laces, uh, this one and then this one. I layered that under here and I also layered those two laces right here at the top. I just think it's so, so pretty. And then I cut up a, an applique that I had and I put part of it right there. So cute. And then this fringe trim I actually got from Angel Dream Crafts and I'll put a link to her uh, shop below. And then this on top, this beaded beautifulness, this is it right here. Isn't it gorgeous? Gorgeous. Somebody gifted it to me. Thank you so much. I, I'm sorry that I don't remember who it was, but I am so grateful to have it. I love it. Love it. And it's the first time I've used it because I've just <laughs> been admiring it. <laughs> so I put it on here and I just think it's beautiful. And then um, I used some of these leaf snippets from a lace from Angel Dream Crafts. And then I put a cluster of flowers right there. So cute so cute and then I added a piece of bridal trim right here and then popped a little ribbon rose on it so isn't it cute? it's just a cute cute bag now on the back I try to keep it simple oh this is that lace okay that's the wide lace I used to cover all the cotton I mean look at this thing it's crazy so I had a nice long piece of it and it's that wide just crazy all right so there's that um, I kept it simple on the back. Instead of cutting up this big, beautiful applique, I just decided to use the whole thing because it keeps it simple and it's pretty and it covered the whole back and now it's just ready to go. So I love it, right? And I hope my swap partner loves that how her canvas comes wrapped. <laughs> So I would love to know what you think if you would leave me a comment below and don't forget to give me a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please consider subscribing. I'm trying to reach um, 7,000 subscribers by the end of the year. I know I can do it. So thank you everyone. I hope you're all doing well and I will see you guys on the next one.